Yo, what up? This is the Fight Block. I'm back. It's been a while. Brushed the uh, the dust off this microphone. Uh, I've been really busy with work and just I haven't even been able to get my predictions out. And I missed both the last uh, two shows. Uh, the, the BJ Penn, Nick Diaz, and then also the Munoz Lieben. I haven't even watched Munoz Lieben yet. Um, caught Diaz, BJ, good fight. Uh, but really, I haven't caught anything else. And uh, It's been crazy busy, but this Saturday, UFC on Fox for the first time, nationally tele- televised fight. Uh, interesting uh, style. It's only going to be one fight, heavyweight title on the line. Junior Dos Santos takes on Cain Velasquez. This is a huge fight and possibly the biggest fight in UFC history um, in terms of just the heavyweights being the biggest fight, I think, in the heavyweight division ever. And then the biggest fight in terms of making uh, an impression and uh, just the whole the future of MMA. This, there's a lot riding on this fight. So with that being said, let's get right into my thoughts on tomorrow's show, um, like I said, it's just one fight. Cain Velasquez, Junior Dos Santos, heavyweight title. Um, I'll also, I'm also going to talk a little bit about the Ben Henderson-Clay Guida matchup. Pretty much uh, is a number one contendership fight for the lightweight title. Um, I don't know if it's been officially announced that, that the winner is indeed the number one contender. Um, but should they win, I mean, I think they're clear-cut number one. Give or take uh, what Gilbert Melendez does, coming if he comes over to the UFC or not. But anyways, uh, in a way, I have a lot to say about both these fights. But also, I mean, I don't. Uh, I think both these fights are pick em fights and really is just up in the air and tough to predict. Either fight can go either way. And uh, so I'll, I'll say what I can. And uh, yeah, so let's just get started. Ben Henderson. Uh, against uh, Clay Guida, lightweight matchup. Uh, all the uh, the prelim fights uh, will be aired on Fox.com and also on Facebook, including uh, this co-main event fight between Guida and Henderson. Uh, Clay Guida on a roll, the best uh, uh, role he's ever been on in his career. He's finally... Uh, fighting smart and pulling off huge wins. He's tend uh, he tended to uh, to choke in a sense. He 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 win two fights, lose one, and just never really could keep his momentum. But now here he is at the uh, top contendership level in the lightweight division, taking on former WEC lightweight champion Ben Henderson. Um, I'm just gonna rattle off real quick who Guida has beaten to. To get to this spot, um, several uh, strong wins. Uh, defeated uh, Shannon Guidry by uh, submission. Went on to defeat Rafael Dos Anjos by su- submission. I was at that fight. And uh, then defeated Takanori Gomi by submission. And then had a huge win over uh, Anthony Pettis. Uh, won that fight by decision. Pettis was the uh, the WEC lightweight champion at the time. And uh, instead of waiting around for the title matchup, took the fight with Guida, and lost, so huge win for Guida, so that's four fights in a row for Guida, Ben Henderson, uh, he's won every fight in the UFC since coming over, he did lose his lightweight title in the last WC uh, fight with Anthony Pettis, Uh, he's won uh, two huge fights over uh, Mark Bocek uh, and uh, Jim Miller, both won uh, by decision, uh, but both were... uh, I mean, Mark Boschek, not so much, but he was on a roll at the time. Uh, but both guys can be considered top uh, top late, lightweight competitions. Uh, and then just uh, beat Jim Miller, who was on an eight-fight win streak, seven or eight-fight win streak. Uh, so that was uh, a huge win for Ben Henderson. Um, how I see this matchup going down, I mean, both guys, solid wrestling. Uh, ben Henderson, very tough to submit. Uh, Guida's submission game has looked uh, impressive in his uh, last few fights. Um, three of his four victories by submission. Oh, man, I, I, like I said, these fights are just pick It's really tough. To, I mean, I, I think uh, Guida's going to come out. I think they're both going to stand and trade, uh, test out the, uh, the stand-up. And, I mean, 
I would give uh, I would give Guida the wrestling advantage, although Henderson has got solid wrestling. But I think Guida could be a uh, a little bit more relentless with his takedown attempts, and uh, I think if he puts on the pressure, he'd be able to get Henderson to the ground. And then once Guida's on top of you, it's tough to uh, to get him off. Man, I'm going with Guida on this one. I think uh, he's putting things together. He's looking impressive, and he's fighting smart, and he's got the style that will just win points. Uh, he, he's aggressive, and unless he gets caught or uh, um, caught or rocked early that somehow cut or something and it affects him in the fight, I think Guida's going to be able to use his cardio and uh, relentless pressure. Uh, to, to win points and win this fight by decision. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's a tough fight to call. I see this fight going to the judges. Both guys pretty tough to finish. And uh, I, it's just going to be a great fight. And you uh, can catch it on Facebook or Fox.com. So, Clay Guida, Ben Henderson. Going to be a good fight, but I'm taking Guida by decision. Now, moving on to the uh, the main event. Uh, Cain Velasquez, Junior Dos Santos. Live on Fox, it's, uh, I believe, fight starts on 9 on the East Coast and uh, uh, 6 on the West Coast. Uh, I believe they're going to do an hour of just build-up and promos before and uh, really sort of familiar, familiarize the, uh, the new fans that will be tuning in. And uh, not it's going to be a little bit different, I believe, uh, in terms of production uh, than what we are used to seeing in the UFC, and uh, but once the fight hits, it's going to be um, what we're used to seeing, and it's hopefully going to be a good fight. You know, um, I know in an interview with Ariel Hawani and Dana White, I was watching, they brought up uh, uh, the the Ariel Hawani brought up the question of whether or not this fight is bigger than Forrest Griffin, Stefan Bonner back in the day, and you know, I mean, UFC now is definitely established and. Uh, themselves as a legitimate sport and really I mean it's not unlike uh, how UFC was back when Forrest Griffin and Stephen Bonner fought they were just clinging to survive and that fight just uh, really brought the interest up in this uh, this sport and uh, whereas now it's people are going to tune in and I mean worst cases we get I mean I wouldn't say worst case but the thing is, that with only one fight, it's it's a lot riding on it. And whereas usually for UFC shows, you get five fights, one of those is pretty much guaranteed to be uh, a good fight or an awesome finish. So you, you definitely leave saying, oh, here's something to talk about. Heavyweight, I just don't, I mean, whether it's a fast knockout or they go all five rounds, I, I think this fight will deliver uh, something to talk about. Um, whether it be Kane beating Dos Santos and continuing his heavyweight reign and uh, both fighters are undefeated in the UFC so we are getting two undefeated UFC fighters coming together and someone's got to lose and you know both guys solid stand up both have knockout power um, you know this is a tough fight to call Cain Velasquez coming off of a uh, shoulder surgery he's been out for several months just completely dismantled Brock in the first round, Brock Lesnar, uh, to win the heavyweight title. And uh, they say you're not a true champion until you defend your title. So this is uh, Kane's first title defense. And uh, really a tough fight to call. I, I, I know Kane's going to come in in shape. And really, he, he's one of those type of people where should there be any sort of injury or any lingering problems, he's going to fight through it and... Uh, I just don't see any injuries getting in Kane's way of his performance. Uh, so, Kane, I think, is going to be, uh, he's going to look good. Uh, so, I have no worries or doubts that this injury has affected him in any way. And uh, Dos Santos, man, scary, scary power. Uh, we've seen um, his takedown defense just improve immensely. Uh, let me just pull up real quick who Dos Santos has fought recently, um, I, because I, I know there was a recent fight where I was like, wow, Dos Santos' takedown defense is looking pretty damn good. Um, uh, give me a minute, a minute. Anyways, so both guys, solid stand-up, 
And, I mean, Kane definitely has the wrestling pedigree. Um, we've never really seen Dos Santos on his back on the ground, although I believe he is a uh, black belt and has a black belt in jiu-jitsu, but we've never really seen uh, Dos Santos on his back. Um, Junior Dos Santos, since coming to the UFC, he's on a... Uh, He's won seven fights since coming over to the UFC. So he's uh, seven and zero. Um, defeated uh, Shane Carwin in his last fight by decision. That was a huge win. Uh, pretty much just destroyed Carwin, bloodied Carwin up, uh, stuffed a lot of Carwin's takedown attempts. Um, uh, stuffed Roy Nelson's takedown attempts. Defeated Roy Nelson by decision in that fight before. And so I mean, Dos Santos is tough to take down to the ground. Um, I really see both these guys standing and trading, and I think we're going to get a very, very good fight, if not a very good finish. Um, tough one to call. I, I, I hate I hate going against the champion. I've done that lately, and it's... Uh, uh, they've been close title fights, but the t- champions come out on top. But, you know, uh, I'm a, a huge fan of Dos Santos, and I'm, I feel like I'm rambling, but I'm going to cut right to the chase and say I'm picking Junior Dos Santos to catch Cain Velasquez and become the new heavyweight champion. Uh, Cain Velasquez, the only fight that uh, I, I think back to is his fight with Czech Congo, where Cain did get rocked about twice in that fight by Congo. His eyes rolled back. Showed he had a good chin, very, very good chin, but also showed that Cain could take a punch and definitely if someone with uh, Dos Santos' power connects, I think Cain could get caught. You know, like I said, I don't think the injury is going to get in the way, but he has been away from the octagon for a while. Uh, I, I'm really stoked about this fight. I got it off work. I was actually going to go to the fights because it's only five minutes away, but uh, I missed all the prelim fights. I didn't want to throw down a bunch of money just to go see one fight. So I'm going to check out what Fox has to offer. Hopefully it's not too cheesy or anything and they do it right. And uh, But I, I think this is... Uh, a start to, to bigger and better things for the UFC and the sport of mixed martial arts. I'm really excited about this deal. Really excited to see UFC on national television. It'll be interesting to see what kind of ratings it gets. I know the prime time did a million views, solid, uh, viewer, uh, viewership. And, uh, um, I don't, I don't know what else to say right now, but, um, I'm going to try and keep these videos coming. Uh, I, I, I've been really busy. Thanks for people who followed. I did try and start that uh, uh, heavyweight or prediction Grand Prix. I, I think it's a good idea, but I just don't have the followers, subscribers, or uh, way of... I don't want to go spam any websites or anything to get uh, subscribers or people to notice. So uh, I'm just going to keep doing my thing and then eventually try and to do the game again. Because I think it's a pretty cool setup with the tournament style. and But... So thanks for following, people. Uh, it's been a while, and uh, it's uh, going to be a big fight. I think there's a pay-per-view next weekend, if I'm correct. So I'm going to try and get predictions out for that. And, uh, yeah, this is the Fight Block. Thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. Follow on Twitter. I'm getting close to 100 followers. Thumbs up for that. And uh, I don't know how many of them are actually real, but... 100 followers, not too shabby. So, yeah, rambling. It's been a while, so I'm sorry if I feel if the video comes off as though I'm a little bit rusty. It's been a while since I've been behind this bad boy saying anything. Um, big fight. Not much more to say. Junior Dos Santos, Cain Velasquez, UFC live on national television, live on Fox. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Uh, I'm stoked. I'm out. Peace.